Hi, I'm Nikki, and welcome to Handicrafts. Today, I have for you a card tutorial using the gift from the latest Die Cutting Essentials magazine. As mentioned in my quick look video, I had the idea to make a shaker card. The aperture in the cocktail glass seemed perfect for it. I already did my die cutting off screen. I have four die cut cocktail glasses, one of cardstock, three of craft foam. So I started gluing these together and totally forgot to put in the acetate layer. So you'll see here, I have to take it apart so I can put that in to make the shaker window. The glue is still wet so I can just stack the foam ones together. I just used some thick acetate I had saved from a piece of packaging. I ran this through the die cutting machine once and it didn't cut the whole way through, which is exactly what we want for this shaker window. But these dies would cut it if I ran it through again or used the precision cutting plate. I trimmed off the stem and around the edges to neaten and so it doesn't stick out. Now I have the window in, I'll add the layers of foam to give the shaker elements plenty of space. I love the liquid glue for this as it gives you chance to line everything up. I'll just pop this off to one side with something on top of it while it dries. Next the lemon slice. You can see the segments of the gold lemon have not separated when I die cut it from this glitter cardstock as it has a kind of plasticky layer on the back. So I'm just going to stick a black one straight on top. For other types of card, you could insert your contrasting segments to the outline after it's placed on the card. I wanted something simple so the focus stays on the shaker. This shimmer layer is a lighter card or a heavy paper, which can wrinkle with liquid glue. So I chose to use double-sided tape to adhere this to the black card base. Here we have the Cheers die cut word, and I'm going to strengthen it by stacking a few of them together. I get the cocktail glass back out and looking at the umbrella, I decided to see if I could slide the stem in between the card and foam layers, and I could. Now I need to get some gems and sequins to pop in the window. I chose some pink and gold and silver. Once I had it all filled up, I realized I would have to turn it over as I would not be able to see the position if I placed the card base on top of my window the way I've done when assembling other shaker cards. So I checked the position and stuck the inner gold piece down first. And once I've transferred the gems and sequins, I used the liquid glue to adhere the cocktail glass. Then we have the main element done. I'll just retrieve the sentiment and stick that here on the stem. The top of the umbrella now. Just popping that up with a sticky foam tab for some dimension. And last, the lemon slice too. That's it. A fun but elegant card you can make too with the free gift from the latest issue of Die Cutting Essentials magazine. 
What do you think of this card? Let me know in the comments below. All the specifics are on my blog post and there's a link to that in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to support me, you can really help just by liking this video. And if you want to see more, you can click on subscribe. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you again soon.